The energy force was high at the School of Engineering and Arts in Golden Valley. The steam is skills. c 3 po loves the School of Sea. It's right in the name. Alert all commands, C-3PO and a stormtrooper made a galactic landing inside the school hallways. No Darth Vader here. The only thing this duo had to battle was a flurry of students trying to take a picture with the Star Wars characters. As part of Star Wars Day, students and parents dressed up as their favorite characters. But the stormtrooper says today was not just about promoting the new movie. It is so much fun to promote the uh, science and technology, and Star Wars has done that for a lot of people. So I'm, I'm glad that we're able to bring that here, <laughs> where it is taught. C-3PO and the stormtroopers say they were pleased to have a friendly interaction after years of galactic civil war. And the Star Wars fun continues in Plymouth. That's where the most dedicated Star Wars fans were for an advanced screening of the movie on Thursday night. Not so long ago, in a theater not so far away, Jedis, Rebels, and a few droids gathered to be the first to see the latest Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. Because it looks really good. Oh, we've always been anticipating it greatly since it was announced in the first place. There's no doubt, the force is strong here. You know, I saw the first one in 77 when I was about three and a half, and I remember it vividly. It left a lasting impression, and it's stayed that way for my whole life. No film even comes close to something like Star Wars because of the cult following. So it's just out there on its own island. It's literally like its own entity. For theaters like family-owned man theaters. So we're very happy as theater owners when Star Wars comes out. <laughs> A Star Wars movie is the perfect holiday gift, drawing in casual moviegoers and hardcore fans who will see the movie multiple times. Wow like Chris Henning, who expects to see it at least three times. I know I'll be seeing it tonight, and I'll be seeing it on Saturday for sure, so that's two of the three. <laughs> Forty years after the first Star Wars movie came out, the story still resonates. It has characters we can all identify with and that we've really learned to love. Heroes and villains and, you know, just a classic story that everybody loves. So, you know, I think that's what draws everybody in. It's a great story. And mark your calendars, the next Star Wars movie will be out in May and it is about the early adventures of Han Solo and Chewbacca.